Hello guys and welcome to Watching Time. Uh, today we're going to review the latest addition to my collection. This is a Seiko uh, Sharp Edge GMT Presage uh, newest model. They just they have been released around June, July, but they have just become available in some countries right now in August. So uh, actually this is the 140th limited edition uh, version. So it's the only one in a coloration with the white and blue that we have seen in other models this year. They have done in total four limited editions, 140 years, uh, four several series within Seiko and also on the Prospects family. Um, and this is the one for the Sharp Edge. So, Sharp Edge was launched last year. They launched the only time and date version. And this year they launched the GMT. Uh, this is really interesting for Seiko because it seems like they are trying to propose uh, a Seiko watch that looks a lot like its big brother, the Grand Seiko GMT. I'm going to put some pictures uh, during this video so that you also see the similarities or difference and it brings the feeling almost totally of Grand Seiko with a Seiko watch. So obviously you are you're going to have a lot of details in a Grand Seiko that you will not find here. This is a 1,500 uh, euros watch compared to a 6,000 euros GMT Grand Seiko but Apart from, you know, the mechanism and the movement, which is obviously a spring drive that you will see on those watches. Um, and uh, for example, the level of shining that they do uh, on, on the Grand Seikos, I think this stainless steel watch really, really pulls it off. Uh, and it's a really nice way to bring Seiko into the Grand Seiko world and bring people that like Seiko to have a little taste of what Grand Seiko is about. So, first of all, I want to talk to you about how I got it. It was difficult in Italy to actually buy it. So I, you know, the pandemic has brought some good things. One of those are that many jewelry stores are now selling online. So this is the first time that I buy from this uh, jewelry store, Angelini. Uh, they are in Lombardy, in Ceriano Laghetto. And well, the experience was very good, uh, very easy to contact through WhatsApp. Uh, they answer very promptly. I know the ship in other countries, so it, they actually had also good prices and promos. So if you're interested, I will put the link to have a look at them. Um, uh, they were really kind uh, and the process was really, really easy. They, I got the watch shipped in 24 hours. So anyway, going back to the watch. The watch came obviously with this white classical Seiko box, nothing fancy about it and nothing in particular to tell about it. Um, the watch presents itself with this uh, leaf pattern in the dial that it's uh, already been used in other watches, and so especially in the Sharp Edge series of Seiko, which is really nice. It reminds you kind of the snowflake uh, particularly this 140th edition with the colors, uh, but it's the also the elaboration that you see in the in the dial that reminds you a lot of Grand Seiko, um, and I think that's a really nice touch from Seiko to present this type of work, uh, also for the Seiko family. What also we have here is the date indicator at six time, so you have that indicator. Obviously, you also have the uh, charge indicator. I think the charge indicator is really useful. In this case, this is a, a 6R64A movement from Seiko. Nothing too fancy, 29,000 uh, bits per minute. It's a good movement. Uh, I really like it, but, uh, but it's obviously not a spring drive, uh, but it has a GMT function, which you can actually change real GMT uh, hour change with just one uh, of the positions of the, and the other one just to move the around. So as you see, it's not a screw down crown. So this is the reason why this watch has only 100 meters water resistant, but that's okay. You are not going to go diving with this. 
so that's fine you can see that you have the gmt hand and the second hand color blue and that also reminds me particularly of the snowflake that they have done the same kind of thing with the second hand internally you have a ring to signal and show the day and night differentiation between white and blue and then you have the bezel which is in this case a stainless steel bezel with a dia shield treatment blue dia shield very resistant very nice and it gives you the feeling also because of the shininess to a ceramic bezel uh, so they have definitely saved some money on there but that's fine the finishing on the case it's a big case okay so it's a 42 millimeter by 49 by 13.7 thickness um it's not small but at the same time the way the arms fall down it actually works very well on the wrist and it works smaller so i think this can work on a small wrist too in on biggest wrist it works perfectly fine the bracelet is a stainless steel but the elaboration as you can see it's very similar to, to the grand seiko you have the polish sides and then the uh, satin uh, rest of the of the bracelets and obviously polish to the sides the clasp i think is one of the best things it reminds me a lot of grand seiko clasp it's good quality one of the least things that i like from for example the prospects family is actually the clasp and i think here in the presage they have actually done a very very good work on bringing a clasp that actually feels much more sturdy but also much more elegant and nice and it reminds me a lot of the grand seiko very good uh, clasp and as you can see it's a thick watch so let's see how it wears on the wrist this is my grand seiko snowflake so just for you to to see the differences and as you can see it reminds a lot of snowflake it doesn't have obviously the level of work they have put on this but it reminds you of it the shape of the hands of the minutes and the hour hands is very similar the only difference obviously is that here you have the polish no lume hands and indicators and here you will find that it's full of lume both the minute and this uh, hour hand also the gmt tip and then you have a small lume pips on each hour indicator the level of shininess let's say in the polish areas is not the same of grand seiko so don't look for that but it's actually very good and the bracelet as you can see it's very similar especially on the pattern um so obviously this is the titanium this is not stainless steel but as you can see they have really tried to work on the similarities and the feeling of grand seiko here on this sharp edge so why is it called sharp edge because it actually presents itself with a lot of sharp edges it's very kind of squarey you know it has those straight lines that gives that feeling of strength if you want to put it in some way and you can also actually also see that on the on the bracelet even if they look alike this look more sharp than the one in a grand seiko so they are quite different uh what i was telling you about guys on the clasp you can see the design are very very similar in terms of clasp um, between this sharp edge and the grand seiko so it's a grand seiko kind of inspired watch and particularly on the gmt grand seiko they uh, they look really really alike um i will show you some pictures so that you can understand it so if you like a grand seiko and you don't want to spend the amount of money of a grand seiko i think this is a really good alternative for the gmt grand seiko so anyway let's see it on my 18 and a half centimeters wrist and as you can see it doesn't wear that big i think it wears really nice really sticks very good to the wrist and and i think it's a good addition to to the styliness that you can find in the wrist so anyway guys i think this will be everything for now um the movement um it's obviously not a spring drive but it does its work very very well so if you like this video and you like to see more videos in my channel please subscribe and until the next one until then bye bye